introducing the contextual taskbar, which is this bar right here. And that is newly released in Photoshop as of version 25. So it's really new to the Photoshop workspace and workflow. And it can be really handy to provide common options of things you might want to do that are context sensitive. And by context sensitive, I mean that they change based on what you have selected. For example, if I select the mask within my layer, I get options related to that mask. If I make a selection up here, I'll get options related to that selection that Photoshop thinks are common things you might want to do with a selection. For example, it's recommending I might do some generative fill with uh, the Photoshop AI, also new to Photoshop, and fill that selection with generated content. Or I might want to modify my selection or simply deselect, for example, to get rid of it. So those are common things that Photoshop thinks you might want to do based on the context. And so this bar is context sensitive and changes based on what you have going on, right? So if I go to a new document, for example, it's saying, hey, you might want to import an image into that document. Or if I'm back in my current document and I wanted to add some text to it, and let's say I go to my type tool to add a type layer onto this, you'll see that the options, uh, the contextual sort of taskbar options change and the bar itself moves around based on what you're doing. And it's giving us a couple really common options for typography, including working with changing the font or the size or the color. Now we certainly get more options on the options bar that's across the top, or if we bring up our character panel, we'll get even more typographic options. And we'll be talking about typography in a future video at length, but you'll see that the contextual taskbar changes based on what we have selected or what we're doing. Every once in a while, that bar might disappear altogether. For example, if I select this rectangle down here, the bar goes away. It doesn't really have a recommendation of something common you might wanna do with that. So in that case, it goes away. But that bar will pop up sometimes and be a little bit annoying and in your way. Uh, I've heard people call it the in your way bar at times. Now it can be really handy for common options, but if it's in your way, you can always go to hide the bar. And so you can click on the three dots here that expand the menu and you could choose to hide bar. If you wanted to bring that back under the window menu, the window menu, you will find the contextual taskbar option and you can hide it and reveal it from that option inside the window menu. Uh, if it gets in your way uh, and the way that it's sort of moving around is a bit annoying because it will pop up in different places, uh, you can always reset the bar's position. You can also decide that you don't want it to pop up in, in like different places all the time and instead click on the dots and choose to pin the bar's position. And when the bar's position is pinned, you'll see that that's checked, you can move it to where you want it to go. And now that's not going to move around or be context sensitive anymore. No matter what I do, uh, if you know if that bar has options, they'll be in the pinned position. If you don't want that anymore, you can uncheck the pin, reset the bar position. It will go back to sort of its defaults, and it will also potentially move based on what you're doing. So that is the contextual taskbar inside of Photoshop.